Hi, my name is Mike Steiner, and this is the opening shot in the movie From Here to Eternity, starring Montgomery Cliff. I'm going to make a one on the side, the 11 in the corner. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to jump over four balls and make the seven. I can make any open shot on the table, but I can also shoot off the rail. Two pockets in one shot. Thank you. It's not, <laughs> let's not make you sick. <laughs> Oh, isn't that beautiful? Was that? Oh, is that beautiful? <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. this is the no, master. Thank you. <laughs> we'll use one of them. This is the cluster bank shot. I'm trying to bank the eight in the corner. Just like that. The bank shot. Thank you. Go? Yep. Four in the corner. Three in the side. The cue ball dance. Okay. Okay, just tell me when. Go ahead. The circle shot. Eight inside. Balls into three pockets in one shot. Thank you. Uh, what he's shooting here is the butterfly shot. Now here, I've never seen anybody warm up like that, but it's Jerry Lewis. I'm after realism, and I'm sure that when Greg Norman watches a golf movie, he spots the same things I do in a pool movie. I consider the balls the stars, I just direct them. When I'm alone in a quiet pool room, just hitting the balls around and hearing them click and watching them roll, I find it very relaxing on a stressful day. And in the finals of a tournament, uh, the adrenaline is just flowing and it's great. In the movie The Hustler, Paul Newman's Fast Eddie Felsen triumphs over Jackie Gleason's Minnesota Fats. But if the two actors really played, there is no doubt who would win. If this was real life, there would be no contest in the world Jackie Gleason would win. Mike Steiner has been a pool consultant on television shows like The New Kung Fu and movies such as FX2. He's a Paul Newman fan up to a point. He doesn't look natural shooting. He captured the essence of a pool player's personality, is what I'm trying to get across. But the shots that are produced by him would not be produced by a stroke that is displayed on screen. So uh, with Paul Newman in The Hustler, um, he was just seemed a bit tentative and a bit, at the back here, just a little bit loose. Yet, even with that sort of loose stroke, and his bridge was a bit, a bit weaker than mine, even with that loose stroke, he was able to pull it off, you know. Jackie Gleason, on the other hand, looks like the real thing. Now, the way that Jackie Gleason surveys the table here is just beautiful. And the way he moves around the table is, uh, I can just tell, this man can play pool. The thing with uh, Jackie Gleason that I really liked is the fact that uh, 
he moved around the table, and even when Paul said he looks like a ballet dancer, he's beautiful, I agree with him, because he moves with ease for a big man. Uh, he's surveying the table, he's exuding confidence, he's stroking his cue, he's getting everything ready. He owns it, he owns the shot, he bends down, and it's basically just lock and load. In the past, Steiner has taught actors like David Carradine and performers like Elvis Stoiko. If they can't sink a shot, he puts on the appropriate costume and makes it for them, or simply relies on the magic of filmmaking. Most of the time, I like the performer to do the shots. Unfortunately, there isn't enough time to get the performer up to the level to make the more difficult shots. So what we do is I'll make the difficult shots, and then Steve will come into frame and make the easier shots. Uh, and here, we'll give it a try. He's coming around me out of frame. Now he walks into frame, makes the nine in the side, and it appears to the viewer that he's made the seven, eight split and the nine, because all you see is my hands. And that's how we do it in the movies. When unusual shots are required, consultants like Steiner use special props. Well, I've walked onto sets and directors have asked me to do things that are physically impossible on the table, but sometimes by jacking up the table and the use of special balls, we can do the impossible, or what appears to be impossible. This is a light cue ball and it allows me to draw at, at high speed. Like that. By the time Paul Newman made The Color of Money, his game had improved, but once again, he was overshadowed by his co-star. Tom Cruise has really got a nice snap, a nice bridge, or his bridge is, I would say, uh, adequate. Uh, his stroke is very good. He's standing over the ball, and I have no trouble believing he's the character that he's playing. The thing that impressed me about Tom Cruise was the fact that he looked like a road player, and he also had the rhythm of a road player, and what I mean by that is that when he shot, he was right into it, he's on to the next shot, he's moving and he's grooving around the table. Another impressive performance was turned in by Sir Lawrence Olivier in Sleuth when he defeats Michael Caine in a friendly game of snooker. Sir Lawrence Olivier is doing a marvelous job. Uh, his stance is uh, appropriate for the scene. The way he's shooting is appropriate for the scene, and he makes all the shots except for one or two by himself. Sleuth, like many other pool films, is a serious drama. However, that doesn't mean they're all serious. The Tiffany Chimps made a film called The Little Covered Wagon, which featured a pool scene. Another Western with some lighter moments was Another Man, Another Chance, featuring James Caan playing a game of billiards on horseback. But probably the most famous comedy scene in a pool film was done by Jerry Lewis in The Family Jewels. But for pool expert Mike Steiner, the best shot-making performance is turned in by Montgomery Clift in From Here to Eternity. This is my favorite uh, pool scene um, because Montgomery uh, here is flawless. The way he just released that shot, put the cue in the rack, is exactly the way that it would happen. So there's not too much, there's not too little, he did it just right. Montgomery Clift only made two shots in the film, but his style and skill put him right up there with Paul Newman, Jackie Gleason, and Tom Cruise one of Hollywood's great pool playing actors.